What is going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today we are talking about the PlayStation 5 PS5 PSV whatever you want to call it now there's been a lot of rumor and speculation going around the community for a couple of weeks about the PlayStation 5 I haven't addressed it because there's nothing new that has come out but there's all these analysts, I mean analysts, excuse me, you guys know that I'm joking when I say analysts because I think they are anal, but anyways, these analysts are coming out and spreading all these rumors and the Ubisoft saying that PlayStation 5 is going to come out in 2020 and all these crazy things, so I kind of wanted to address everything as a whole here today, also give you guys my opinion, so please do not take this uh, take it with rumor and speculation. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it as you would anything else on the internet. Please, 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 I beg of you, do not get your panties in a wad. But let's go ahead and talk about this. So, there's been a lot of rumor and speculation that we're going to hear some about the PlayStation 5 in 2018. <sighs> Where do I even begin? Okay, so, me personally, I don't want to hear anything about the PlayStation 5 until 2020. I spent loads of money on PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro controllers, games, accessories, headsets, and everything in between. Uh, I personally do not want to do that all over again anytime soon. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. Uh, the average household usually purchase about two to three games per year if lucky. Um, a lot of people can't afford $60 games every single month or a couple of... A couple of times per month hell it's hard for me sometimes <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest with you there are people out there that are like heck yeah just throw my money at the screen I'm, i'll buy the playstation 5 if it comes out tomorrow um if it comes out tomorrow by the way i i will protest it won't go come out tomorrow um there's other analysts which say that we might hear something about uh playstation 5 in 20 19 and then a release date in 2020 which would make me a little bit more happy because i do not want to see it come out anytime soon don't get me wrong i love technology i love to see it advance but i feel for sony it's a little bit too soon for a new console considering the fact that they had the playstation 4 and a couple years later, they come out with a PlayStation 4 Pro with upgraded specs, 4K resolution. Where was that in the beginning of launch? You knew that 4K was going to be a big thing, uh, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to complain about that. All I'm saying is just trying to give you an example. I want them to be able to be advanced enough, and hopefully have the prices price points good enough. Um, to where, you know, we if a PlayStation 5 releases a couple years down the road, we don't get a PlayStation 5 Pro. That's an example that I have for you guys here today. Price point, I would love to see it at $300. I'm sure everybody else would. But honestly, at launch, that's pretty much unrealistic, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, $400 was PlayStation 4. And I believe the PlayStation 5 would be the same thing. Unless it doesn't get released until like 2025 then we could probably see a price point at like 500 bucks or something inflation los angeles united states everywhere you look inflation is happening so i would love to see a playstation 5 go for less but we'll just have to wait and see there's rumor and speculation out right now from these analysts uh, analysts saying that the playstation 5 is gonna cost around 500 bucks um that's all smoke and mirrors right now sony hasn't officially announced anything everybody's just hoping for the best some people are, are trying to be a little bit more realistic and then some people are you know blinded by everything saying it's gonna cost 300 bucks i honestly personally think it's gonna cost around 400 bucks and um it's not gonna release until 2020 um and i'm i'm a perfect analyst too i analyst right guys right are you are you still there i'm just kidding let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below um one of my requests 
and I really hope this happens, is PlayStation 5, please have a solid state drive. I know that they're more expensive. I know that they're more pricey, but listen, this is going to release in the future, and everything in the future always costs less than what it currently does. So if at all you can do a solid state drive, you can do your boy monkey flop a solid over here. Um, because regular HDD, uh, you got all these spinning objects and a fan on top of it, heat, everything else. Even the PlayStation 4 Slim and the PlayStation Pro is a, a little bit noisy. It's not as noisy as my launch PS4 that sounds like a jet engine. But I would love to have a solid state drive uh, just because everything with the solid state drive is it's quicker, it's faster. I've upgraded my computer to a solid state drive, which is amazing. But I would love to see a solid state drive on the PS4 at launch. That would be amazing. You would make my day and that would just be awesome. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> you guys, if you guys know anything about like computers and stuff like if you have a regular hard drive compared to a solid state drive, it's like night and day. Um, but that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. And I will see you guys in the next news update. <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome.